Good morning. I was reading this. It was interesting. Celinda Lake. She's a leading democratic strategist and pollster in the United States. She was talking about the Democrats and Trump. And this is what she said. We don't really have a robust national message right now on the economy. We will tend to talk about things like paid leave and equal pay. And those things are all very popular policies, but they don't add up to an economic message that is robust enough to win the presidency and beat Donald Trump, who talks about a very robust economic policy. And she said, you may agree or not with it, but you know what his message is, talking about Trump. And Democrats, you don't know what it is. And that's a recipe for disaster in 2020. Yes, good leaders, very important. <laughs> and you know, there are no coincidences. When nations are destroyed, when societies are destroyed, it's, not, it's planned. There is no coincidence. If things go wrong, they are made to go wrong. So that's why it's so important, it is vital that we talk and talk some more, expose these lefties for what they are doing. And talking will lead to action, as, you, as we have witnessed. We have this, these great societies being destroyed. Sweden is a good example of this. Not too long ago, this was a great society. And now it's suffering. This could be a great society. Or the elderly could be living very well and we will have excellent schools, etc. But uh, it wasn't supposed to happen. The lefties, they had other plans, you see. So that's why we have to continue to do this. And there's a lot of work to be done. And we will find these guys, like Trump. It's so important. The, the economy in the United States is doing so well. And this means so much to people, of course. Free time, the possibility to create stuff, you see. And we need to find people like this guy, or better. And we have some guys. Bolsonaro in, Bol in Brazil, I think is very good. Uh, Orban, Salvini, you know. But we need to find them and support them. Alright, uh, speaking about finding good candidates, there's an election in Australia in a few weeks and it seems to me, I looked at it, it seems to me that it's quite similar to the UK. There is no real threat to the establishment. So you need to find someone quickly, some hardcore tough nationalist and support him or her. Yeah, this is urgent. I would support Fraser Ranning if I was living in Australia. Absolutely, I would. Alright, that's all for today. Bye.